Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, this is part 3, oh sorry, Banjo-Tooie, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, this is part 3, and we're entering King Jingling's throne room in Jinjo Village, so let's see what he's got to say to us. That pet is very strange looking too, I think it's a reference to something, I don't know, like something from another game, but I can't seem to figure it out right now. So, all the gingers are gone. Yeah, the witch's giant machine scared all the gingers away. But it is. There's a big cakeball rivalry between the gingers and the moles, which means there could be trouble if we don't turn up. Exactly. Anyway, here's Nintendo for you to rescue my people. He gives us a, gin a jiggy. Nice, our first Jiggy for doing absolutely nothing. I believe you should go and see Master Jiggy Wiggy in his temple now. Jiggy who? Yes, Jiggy Wiggy. Well, he is the leader of the secret and ancient order dedicated to the mystical powers of the crystal, Jiggy. Blah, blah, blah. Now he's the Jiggy guy. So yeah. Alright, so he kind of shows us the way, or we can see nothing. Yeah. So you gotta walk through Bottle's house. I don't know how Jingling has a key to open a gate in Bottle's son's floor, um, room, I mean. So we leave. We got our Jiggy for doing nothing. And then this happens. It's quite depressing, actually. Yeah, his strange pet thingy was cool. I guess. Let's go and find that Jimmy Wiggy then. Oh, it spawns. That's pretty cool. So yeah. Meanwhile, this game just is full of cutscenes in the beginning. I'm bored. Yeah, this is uh, the last part of the game. And it's where you fight Grunty, I think. I don't know. I haven't beaten the game in a long time. So there's, this is, um, Bob, the, damn it, what was it called? Something, something, something. What's the plan to get my bo body back? Annoying your rhyming is, so stop it or we will not tell. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, so she actually stops rhyming. Oh, that's a big old blaster. That's right. Oh, well, that's interesting, isn't it? So, basically, they're just talking about the machine that they have. I bet you do. How long will it take to suck up enough life force? Well, apparently it takes as long as Benji to get through the whole game. Oh wait, no wait. I don't know. She just picks. Yeah, wow. Oh, how does she know that? Why don't you just blast Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie? So she sucks the king jingling. Apparently, that's what it says. Don't ask me. Warmed up Bob is so begin will the firing sequence. The, the, what? So yeah, poor King Jingling just minding his business gets demolished. The only remaining thing in Jinjo Village now gets destroyed. So yeah, they're not really killing him I guess, they're just stealing his life force. I don't know. 
Sure, it looks depressing now. So, where Grundy can be quite dumb sometimes. So now he is a zombie. Poor dude. And look at his little pet there. Burnt into the couch. So they have his life force. I don't know what that means, but yeah. So yeah, they're gonna spend the whole game charging up Bob. Wow, this part is quite boring. There's nothing going on. I guess that was something. Blown up Jingalai. He'll never get to use in time. Did she rhyme? I missed it. Whatever. I guess Grunty's done with her rapping career that she's not rhyming. Alright, back to control. Guy's still spawning. You can go in here and see what uh, happened to Jingling. And it's basically a zombified throne room. Except uh, King Jingling is throwing room. And yeah, it hurts you if you walk into it. Oh, no, he hits you actually. And his little pet is destroyed. What if I attack him? Nothing, he's invulnerable. Where is he? What if I use gold feathers? I hear Terry's wife left him recently. So his little ones are always left. Wow, how does he? I never know they said that. But yeah, that's uh, foreshadowing. So now that we pretty much can move on, let's head to Bottle's house. Yeah, who knew Bottles lived here, right? Okay. Let's see Bottles' house and family. Here's Mrs. Bottles. Hello there, Banjo. How are we today? Pretty good, Mrs. Bottles. And yourself? Oh, fine, fine. Tell her about Ghostly Boy. Keep quiet, Kazooie. What was that? Is Bottles okay? He should be back from Spiral Mountain for his dinner soon. He never misses his dinner, you know. Well, think again. <laughs> Why does Banjo lie? Alright, so basically in Bottles' house, you can go into his... His room, I believe this is his room. I don't know why there's a monster walking around it, but yeah, this is Bottle's room. Nothing special. Bunch of health, I don't know why, but you need all this health right now. But yeah, then you can go this way to the split. This is, oh, let's go there next. This is his daughter's room? No, I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. Hi, goggles. Yeah, this is a boy. Since your daddy and I are such good friends. Oh, no, he didn't say that. <laughs> I can't read. I'm sorry. The summer of doing nothing has made me brain dead. Okay, so he basically gives you your first item. Even though you don't get items in this game. It's your only item, I guess. So now I can... Well, hold on. Well, how do you look first person again? You know what? I'm blacking out right now. I forgot how to look first person. Oh well, I'll figure it out later. But yeah. Wow, I wish I could demonstrate that. Like, what did I put as R? Huh, oh, whatever. Here's a... Uh, oh, I think goggles... Are they both boys? Specky. Me and my dad are going to be playing in a kickball tournament next week over at the Mind Stadium. King Jingling has organized it especially for my dad, since he's such a hero. Well, too bad they're both dead. Or I don't suppose you have any substitutes, huh? I'm sure he was, or is. So that tunnel is the secret way, secret way out of the village. 
end pretty much in the next episode. We're gonna be starting our adventure by leaving Bada's house. And meanwhile, I'm gonna figure out what button I programmed to, for R. Oh, this is splendid. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching. Let's play Banjo Tooie. I am Volt, and I'll catch you guys next time.